All right, folks. So we are looking at uh, practice 532. This is the homework for the week of April 27th. So we're going to look at our practice 532 and uh, just look at the first couple problems. So first, just looking at number one. So looking at number one, we have here two triangles. Now, uh, applying similarity using the angle angle criterion. So these criterion, there's ways that we can find and figure out if these two triangles are similar, okay? Remember when they're similar, they are, um, basically there's been some kind of dilation, it's become larger or smaller, but the sides are gonna be proportioned to each other, right? So if this XZ and ZY, say XZ is twice as big as ZY, then if we find the corresponding side over here, so XZ, look at this little tick mark, so I know that corresponds to this one. So XZ corresponds to CA, and BA corresponds to XY. So we'd be able to make the same assertion. If this is twice as long as that, then we could say that is twice as long as that because they're similar. Now we're gonna find that they're similar because of angle, anger, angle, blah, blah, angle, angle criteria. So AA, you're gonna see AA. The other ones we'll, we'll see later on are side, angle, side, and side, side, side. So if there's a relationship between the angles and the sides in a certain a uh, criterion or certain a relationship, then we know that they're similar. So looking at here, decide whether each pair of triangles is similar, explain your answer. Okay. So if I look at this, um, these are gonna be pretty straightforward because it's angle, angle criterion. So first off, this tick mark for angle C and angle X, it's saying that those angles are the same. Now the side lengths may vary, but the angles are gonna be exactly the same no matter how larger or smaller this this uh, shape becomes, okay? So X and C are related, B and Y are related. We thus have an angle-angle criterion. So we could say, yes, they are similar because of angle-angle criterion. So a lot of these are kind of just checking right now that you understand the concept. Uh, number two, here we have, again, two triangles. This triangle happens to be inside of the other one. So my question to you is this angle D, since it's in common, for BDA and also CDE, angle D is congruent to angle D. It's kind of a weird example here, but angle D you can see is part of the larger triangle, angle D is part of the smaller triangle. So in essence, we, we, know, we, have, we know we have angle and an angle, this angle congruent to this angle. So we already have similarity by angle, angle criterion, but the thing that isn't noted here is also that angle D is the same for the same for both triangles. And in essence, you will always have angle, angle, angle criteria to show similarity, but um, we only have to look for angle, angle. Because if two angles are the same, guess what the other angle? The other angle is also the same. Because a triangle has 180 degrees, these two angles add up to a sum, which is equal to the sum of these two angles. So the left out angle has to be the same for both. So we're looking for angle, angle criterion, but just know every time you have that, you're gonna have angle, 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 because the third angle is always gonna also be, um, the third angle is also gonna be congruent. All right, let's do B, and then we'll go on to the next group. All right, so here we have angle A and angle Y are um, congruent, and it looks like if we were to take this shape and rotate it, rotate it, we'd end up in this direction and it would also need to become larger. So uh, let's see, angle A and angle Y are congruent. Side AB and side ZY are congruent. And even if these look similar, we don't have a criterion to prove it, right? So geometry is never about how it looks. I want you to keep that in mind. If you're like, well, you know, angle B looks like about the same as angle, D, angle Z. Even if you were to get out your protractor and measure it, zoom this in and measure it, right? That is the incorrect way to approach this. Um, in math, when we have shapes, we never assume anything. We only assume what's told to us, okay? So um, that might be a pretty big difference in how you approach these problems, okay? We can't say angle C looks like it's about angle X, so we can prove AA. No, we're not told that they are, so we assume they are not, okay? So we're only told an angle and an angle here. There's one angle in common and one side in common, and there is no postulate, there is no criterion that is angle side. Okay, so um, this one, these triangles are not similar. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stop it there and start over in the next grouping.